All right, we just witnessed the swearing in of ministers and deputy ministers. And of course, uh, we now have a deputy president as South African. That is uh, Paul Mashadile. The swearing in happening at Danies, uh, the pres president's office in Cape Town. Uh, let's take you live now to our reporter, Lula Mamadia, who is standing by there. And remember, just before we speak to her, there's been, of course, some who are returning. Think about Pak Stau. Um, he was, of course, the deputy minister of cooperative governance and traditional affairs and was then moved as, and is now back in that portfolio which is now going to be headed by um, Tembi, Tembi Ngadimeng who is now the Minister of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs and I do understand that we do have Lulama now. Uh, Lulama of course I think you may, I'm seeing a, a room full of smiles, people laughing behind you. Do you have any of those who've just been sworn in and how are they feeling and what do they promise uh, the people of South Africa? Welcome back again to Cape Town here at Tainese, which is the office of the President, Wongiwe. We have none of those who have been sworn in uh, this evening because from here they are going to the garden to, to take a group photo and then from the garden they are going for a briefing. That's what we've been told and uh, we have to observe a uh, protocol. I will ask cameraman uh, Sihle to zoom out. Uh, just a few of them as they are taking uh, pictures. Let me see uh, if I can get maybe one of them in the meantime to talk to us. Uh, you live, ma'am, from the SAPC. This is the new Minister of Cooperative Governments and Traditional Affairs, Tembi Ngatimeng. Challenges at local government, coalition governments not stable in municipalities. What is your plan? Well, thank you very much. And uh, well, one is commitment to serve and show the services get to the people of South Africa. But secondly, is to ensure that uh, there is governance and administration stability. Coalition arrangements, we are looking into enforcing the law to ensure that we enforce Section 12, which allows mostly for an executive management system in municipalities so that they could be able to share in terms of the executive management system of what runs a municipality, but also to look into legislating and creating a threshold on how councils are committed. Stability is key not only in coalitions, but in all municipalities, so they are able to deliver their services. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time. Uh, we're going to try as well to get the Minister of Electricity. And everyone in the, in the space. So we're looking forward to those engagement. And as the President has indicated, the issue is not about formulating new plans, it's about implementation. So we'll be coming back to you to share with you what that implementation is about. Uh, Bongiwe, I hope you did manage to get that. As you can see, uh, the Minister of Electricity is being taken away from us uh, because they are saying that the President um, cannot wait for them as they are going to go and take um, a group photo and then thereafter they are going for a briefing. In total today, uh, 16 members of the national executive that have uh, taken an oath of office there's nine uh, minister nine deputy ministers and uh, seven ministers uh, that uh, have been sworn in today they the constitution requires them to first uh, be sworn in before they can uh, perform their duties the reason for that is because uh, in the line of doing their duties, uh, they may their decisions may be challenged in court, and therefore then it requires them that uh, they take that oath of office to make sure that uh, they whatever decisions that they are taking or work that they are doing is in line um, with the constitution. I guess from here now, it's good. they're going to hit the ground running, especially uh, the minister is, that is looking after electricity. 
we are currently experiencing load shedding um, since last year, the beginning of this year, even today, it's the load shedding. But unfortunately, we couldn't be able to speak to him as uh, he was rushing uh, and he was taken actually away from us as the media. He was rushed to the photo opportunity. Bongiwe. And uh, Lulama, of course, uh, during the next couple of days, uh, they will, I'm sure, be doing a lot of media interviews as they share some of their plans. Let's leave it there with you for now. Thank you so much for that update. That's Lulama Matia um, giving us, of course, the very latest from that swearing in of cabinet ministers and deputies.